Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you all are doing fine. Or the best you can. Take a little look at our earthquake update situation. Last 24 hours, you can see right in front of us there's a 6.8. Uh, I believe if we look at the table, that's going to show it's in Myanmar. And we'll spin the, the 4.8, that's the current one. It didn't look uh, like we were doing too bad. I checked it earlier. A few minutes ago before it came on. You can see the magnitude is relatively, relatively low. You get a 5.9 over here. Other than that, we see a small 5, well, not small, but we see a 5.1. Here in America, 26, 27, 28, 25, 43. Swing around to the Tonga, Indonesian area. You see it's in the fours. Let's go ahead and look at our chart. And we can see currently Chile had a 4, Chile had a 4 8. Pretty well in the 4s. There's your Myanmar. We know about the 7.4 that we just had a few days ago. People were killed. Old structures crumbled and collapsed. Houses were destroyed. And then we knew about the 7.7. .7. Uh, a few days before that. And there's your 5.9, which we saw that was in Peru. And you see you got a 4.6 in Tonga, 5 in Indonesia. Near Honshu, the east coast, 4.6. There's your offshore Guatemala, and a little more, 5, 1, and 4, 5. China gets a 4, 7. Java, Indonesia gets a 5, 1. We also get Flores region, it's a 5. We drop back to the 9th. BG, 4, 8. Solomon Islands, 4, 9. The Valley Sea, a 5, 3. Indonesia 5-3. Well, we're just hitting big ones right here below the country it seems. In the sevens. We had a 6-8. Now we get to Vancouver Island region. That would be on the 8th. 6.3. If we go back here, as we saw currently, there's not too much going on with it at the moment. And there is your 7.4 Guatemala on the 7th. Now over here, this is going to be uh, a site. This is the latest worldwide media reports. Blogspot.com, and I bring this up because uh, on the seventh, <clears throat> I have made a report here about 25 minutes after nine, about five minutes before my lunch was over. Um, I was having a cigarette outside and I was facing directly south and uh, I wasn't really looking up towards the back of me. I could see the things in front of me but I hadn't turned around and looked to the northern area, not, not then. And just, I s just quickly, the whole thing happened in about two seconds. 
quick out yeah, of the corner of my eye a big white streak came from the north northeast headed south southwest and came right in front of my view and I have a grain elevator across the street and the top of the grain elevator oh I counted it I forgot it looks like about 20 25 stories high to the top of the stack that would be where they weighed and have the weigh scales to weigh the wheat um, at least it was when I worked in one and then there's uh, of course the power lines that run across across the uh, roadway in front of me now this this meteoroid and we were already knowing that we were going through some uh, showering from the 5th to the 12th and they were quoted as saying these are relatively small uh, but this thing looked big and it was really freaky I had never ever 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 seen one that close I've seen them in way higher altitudes before but it just like freaked me out uh, in a couple of seconds it just zoomed right in front of me and it was lower than the top of the grain elevator but higher than the, the power line wire like right in between that area of my view and it wasn't behind the grill and the grain elevator, it was right in front it looked like it went right behind the uh, little oil field business across the street and it made no noise whatsoever and it just disintegrated and disappeared just that fast and I turned, you know, as soon as that happened I turned around and looked behind me and kept looking in that direction for about five minutes and I saw absolutely nothing so evidently I saw one so I I went looking around to see if what were all the reports in my state for that night and I couldn't find any for uh, at that time whenever I was looking for my state that night so I went ahead and filled out a report and filed it here and they find they keep a, a log if they deem it to be accurate of all the fireballs and meteors meteoroids and stuff like that and so I do have my listing over here and they did post it so apparently they found it to be accurate but uh it didn't look small like a softball or a baseball or anything like that uh, it looked pretty good size you know I mean, there's either it disintegrated and fragmented into dust or particles so small you couldn't find them or there should be little maybe little pieces over there if you knew what you were looking for you could probably pick you up a few so I'm not sure if anybody else saw this I didn't see anything in my newspaper which that doesn't surprise me uh, they never pay very good attention it doesn't seem like but that would be on November the 7th if you do come to the the latest worldwide media reports dot blogspot dot com slash and you can always come here and see the listings and the locations and you can see they're highlighted in the in the red now we have uh, we have ourselves an eclipse which is going to be occurring on the 13th and the 14th let's see if we can get all this we need to go backwards This would be on the uh, Sun Aeon. I like that one. So you can see the planets are moving around to where they're going to be whenever we have our 
our eclipse and there went Thanksgiving Day there this will be on the 13th and the 14th and then we put it on the 12th there and you can get the general general idea There we are lining up with our eclipse. But don't watch the, you know, don't hurt your eyes or anything like that. That's the day, this is the day before on the 12th. So it will be full on the 13th and the 14th area. Eclipses are significant because they usually have a, you know, there's something to see that God makes eclipses for reasons and purposes as well as the natural passing of uh, the planets and the moon and such there's meaning in natural movements at, at certain times within the, the timeline while I briefly touch on the timeline I'd like to say I'm just very uh, smoking Joe you know you said what you said in your videos which are very informative to the people about the the bankers and how this all began way back in the day and evolved into modern day, correct? And that the votes, you know, really don't count anymore. It's probably, the game probably is rigged. Um, but still, I'm very disappointed that the scumbag is placed back in. I was uh, thinking maybe the elites were going to remove him and replace him with Romney, and that would alter the timeline and give us a little more time before the hammer come completely down but apparently that is not going to be the case and they're proceeding as accordingly with their plan and so we will pass December 21st my calendar will reset we will enter a new age and we have already seen great changes and as you can see, there's still silence from the administration about the truth of the Benghazi attack. As you can see, uh, they probably have manufactured, uh, altered, I shouldn't say manufactured, altered the storm Sandy to probably make it worse than it would have been. And that probably was done to influence uh, the perception of the sitting president slightly before the election if the votes even counted the people there still have the gas problem they still have the food problem they still have the debris problem laying all over the place so prayers are needed for all over the world then they got snow and cold weather and they're cold and they're scared and they've lost their possessions and there's also been death so it will continue the wars will continue the changes will continue the NWO system in place rules of governance placed there was also an article today about the Europeans shouldn't worry about your money situations now they claim that they have the euro has come back some, so they, they claim that the European economy is straightening itself out and gaining some steam to get better. Well, uh, believe it or not, that's what they're trying to get you to think. All you got to do is look around, use your own judgment, don't use what they say. Are the houses getting foreclosed on? Are people hungry and desperate? and have no jobs. Therein lies the truth of the reality, not in what they pump out to us. Well, I pray for all of you. You know, you're all my friends and I wish every one of you all the best. God bless everyone and keep you safe. Keep looking up and I'll be back soon to speak to all of you.